They haven't done the damage to our country that this total moron has done. Okay? He's a moron. And as you know, I've come here from New York, where I'm being forced to endure a Biden show trial, all done by Biden. In fact, I heard they were going to do a couple of other things, and they said from Washington, don't do it, please don't do it. We're indicting him into the White House. He's going to be indicted into the White House. They said, don't do it. The whole world is laughing at him. He's a fool. He's not a smart man. He never was. There would have been no war in Gaza with me in the White House. When I'm president, we will not allow our colleges to be taken over by violent radicals. And if you come here from another country and try to bring jihadism or anti-Americanism or anti-Semitism to our campuses, we will immediately deport you. You'll be out of that school. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.